Mmm, there's a cat. This is my back garden. Nice eucalyptus there. And what do we have here? It's a yew tree. And we hear a lot of stuff about how English yew isn't suitable for bows and this sort of nonsense. And um, landscape yew is no good and this, that and the other. Well, let's just have a look at it. So, it's not shooting up straight like you'd like to see some yew. But we've got some good diameter branches. So that is three fingers wide. And we've got a good straight length there. Got another one here. Goes right up to a nice little cat perch at the top where it splits five ways. You can see that's four fingers wide down to there, so that's probably a good four and a half, five foot length. We've got a long skinny one here, shooting out along that way. And another one there. And those would make stick bows with no problem at all. Well, I don't intend to actually do it. But it just goes to show that even in a, a domestic yew of modest size, as I back away, there you go, there's bow wood in there. I could make a bow out of one of those. And I know because where I've pruned it, there's substantial heartwood. And even if there wasn't, it'd still make a perfectly usable, shootable bow. And of course, you've also got Felis domesticus, the tailless black and white moo cat. Right, and over this side, we've got a wild deer made of wood. Uh, no, we've got some hazel. Now, I like hazel as a wood, because people, you know, as you're brought up, you've got this daft idea that trees die back over winter and go into hibernation the leaves fall off and nothing happens. Well it's not true. If we look at this hazel, yeah the leaves are all going yellow, most of them have fallen off, but in actual fact the catkins are growing already and it's got buds on it. Hazel doesn't actually stop growing at all hardly, uh, which is probably why it's got very fine rings that are barely perceptible. Uh, and is smooth and easy to work. Now what I like is you can see this it's all come up from the same coppice stool if you like. This was planted by the squirrels in the garden we had nothing to do with it and it's been cut back because it's growing up alongside an old apple but if you look at it you've got this lovely you've got this lovely dark speckleby bit here and yet you've got this gunmetal coloured Piece as well and it's just a lovely smooth wood I mean one of these would, would cut and make a like a stick bow for a kid or a little survival bow I mean if you're trying to shoot something that's only 10 yards away that would certainly do you sort of thing you can cut cut a pole of hazel season it quickly have a play while you're stuck indoors with you know the cold weather and all the rest of it Anyhow, that will do. I'll probably blether on for ages. Oh, hang on, we've got some holly there as well. Well, I've not actually made a bow from holly, but I know several people who have. I know I haven't got a decent um, straight length in there. Don't think I've got anything else of interest. <laughs> 